right, I'm just doing a quick jog into town in my new Torotech helmet with the peak on. I've never ridden with a peak before. It seems to make sense given that I've got this big open visor and the sun is up there somewhere so yeah let's see how that works for me also got these new Klein uh, gloves these ones actually extend past my wrist which will save me getting that watch strap sunburn as the opposite of a watch strap that's the, that's the point where I get burnt between the gloves and the jacket. I suppose it's ironic that uh, I have my first uh, peak on the helmet and I bought this helmet almost in a fit of peak, I suppose. Um, I'd just ridden over to Sharjah and back um, and then found out that I was there on the wrong day, so that was pointless, which was irritating. But uh, the annoying thing was that my, uh, my Nolan helmet really, really started chafing on that trip. I've had it for a few years when it was, uh, it's been a great helmet, although bloody noisy. And on the way back, I just happened to be passing the Touratech shop. I'd spoken to the guys at, uh, at a bike event a few days earlier and said that I would stop in and have a look at their adventure style helmets. So I did that. And this lid actually um, has none of the features I was looking for in a helmet. <laughs> it has, um, there's no internal sun visor. So I'm wearing a smoked uh, visor, full, full, you know, fully smoked, which I was never keen on the idea of that because I like to be able to switch between day and night. Um, I have ridden now with this one at night and it's, it's not bad at all actually, I can still see perfectly well and it's pretty good during the day. I just wanted a bit more um, shade from the top, that's why I've actually put the peak on today. And that seems to be fairly effective, I can... I can shelter myself from the sun with it. Uh, it has a D-ring strap, which is uh, not my preferred method. I, I like the seatbelt type, the ratchet fasteners. It's just a lot quicker. But, um, that's not bad. I just have to I have to take my gloves off to take my helmet off now. That's, uh, it doesn't have any built-in uh, comms features, so it's not uh, it's not Bluetooth ready. You can attach a Bluetooth device to it, obviously. And I have installed the mic and the earpiece for this camera. Perfectly comfortably. I don't know how much noise we're getting off the mic right now, but it's uh, it's up inside the cheek pad without any extra baffle on it, so we'll see how that works out. This is about the windiest it's been. Obviously the padding on this helmet is fresh, so it's a lot more comfortable than the M44 was by the end. It is removable, and washable, has an emergency release system. Okay, so I take a tumble and somebody needs to get my helmet off without breaking my neck. What else is new? Well, it's a carbon fibre helmet. It's actually lighter than the other one. When I take it off and hold it, hold the two in my hands, you can feel the difference. It comes with a choice of two uh, filters for the front here. There's a, a clickable solid front panel or uh, an open mesh one, and I've got the open one on because it's hot. Well, I don't think that's contributing to any extra noise, as far as I can tell. And the peak doesn't seem to be either. 
the helmet's a bit deeper than the Nolden, um, height-wise, which made me led me to believe it might be quieter because there's uh, there's extra carbon fibre at the bottom here. It does mean it won't fit in the front. Need some gloves? Oh, yeah, that's yeah. The old one, but it's saying nothing.